But welcome out, everybody, to the um, the event that most people thought would never happen. <laughs> Yours truly included. Anyway, my favorite people in the whole world are in this room, and I appreciate everybody being here and sharing this with us. It's very, uh, very special. Obviously, a big day in my life. Um, I um, not not everybody knows exactly how Reagan and I ended up getting together. But, uh, it was a uh, it was a stroke of luck for sure, and. Uh, those of you that don't know the whole story, um, me and my uh, my brothers John and Chuck, we uh, we play the Predators games, and I'm up on the jumbotron a lot, and uh, that's right, it's a curse really. But um, one day after being in a really really getting ending a uh, kind of a dead end relationship and just wondering why um, I was still single after all this time. You know, I really kind of knew why, but I just still would ask myself why. <laughs> anyway. But, uh, oh good, you got a glass. I actually want to make a, I want to do a couple of, uh, a couple of toasts. Uh, first of all, I want, there's, a, there's a sentence I've, I've never ever said and uh, I want y'all to be the first uh, to hear me say it, but have y'all met my wife, Reagan Mandel? How about a toast to the most beautiful bride in the entire world? Yes. I'd also like to make a toast to Joe Mandel. He was going to be too sick to be here, but he figured out a way to make it. So, glad to see you. So, anyway, I'm like <laughs> sitting there. And I get this Facebook friend request from this ridiculously pretty little blonde headed girl. And I'm like, except. And um, I didn't really think anything else about it. I just thought, okay, well, she's a friend on Facebook. I might have creeped her pictures a little bit, but she was really cute. And uh, so I just left it at that. And uh, so then I get a... Um, and I'm laying in bed, minding my own business, and I get a Facebook message from this cute little blonde-headed girl. And I'm, like, and I'm just gonna say it, it was a little flirty. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, you know, so. Didn't really think anything else about it. We had a nice little conversation, but I just kind of filed it away. I said, well, that was interesting, cute little girl. And I could kind of tell by her Facebook that maybe she was a little bit younger than me. <laughs> Maybe just the fact that she was on Facebook. <laughs> so, um, long story short, we met for coffee, and uh, she was amazing, and she was 21, and I was not. <laughs> Um, and I proceeded for the next six months to uh, tell her that it was not ever going to happen between us. It just was not going to happen. I'm just, I don't know why. Y'all looking at her and looking at me and going, why wouldn't you? It's so ridiculous. And, um, I just didn't. I just, you know, I didn't think um, this is Nashville and it's a reputation town, and as much as I hated it, you know, I didn't think that everybody would really accept the fact that our ages were pretty different. And uh, I just said, not gonna happen. And uh, about six months later, I, I couldn't help it. So I realized that I was in trouble, and I thought I might have 
go ahead and tell her that I was in trouble and that started a spiral of something I'd never experienced. And now we're here. Mary. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things, I didn't know if it was going to happen, and then and, and it happened, and it's, it's such a, you know, a, uh, it's amazing. I didn't think, uh, I just, I just, I distinctly remember this. Where's, where's Jack and Lisa? There you go. And we played uh, our buddy Jack Purcell, best radio guy in the whole world up right there. And our good friend back from our Warner Brothers days, and, and I was playing, we played their wedding, actually. And, uh. And I remember watching them, I remember watching them dance during their dance and they looked like they were so crazy about each other and I was just like, is that, is that real? Is that like, can you really like look at people and just go and look at another girl and, and look at a girl and just say, man, this is fantastic, like for a long time? And I'm like, I don't think so. <laughs> but it's hap it happened to me. I couldn't wait for this day to happen. I just, it's pretty good. So thank y'all for uh, thank y'all for sharing this with us. And, uh, like I say, I'm the luckiest guy in the whole world. So in the course of all this and the uh, 18 gazillion cameras around here, we're making a little video, and, and those people that know me know that that's just what I do. So. Figured it needed a soundtrack. So. Uh, I wrote this song before you bought me that Chicago trip, so this is your surprise. And I don't know it very well, so I have the lyrics in front of me, so if I have to stop or if I get emotional, I have to like stop and start over, so bear with me. That's me, just an ordinary guy. Letting every day by day go by You saw me way up in the sky One night You An extraordinary girl Made my very ordinary world Something I had never known Was one hello got a ring and it sounds so good to me who knew that I could ever be singing perfect harmony with a dream but I knew just as soon as I let go this mean old world would just say no so baby, here's what I propose We'll let the whole world know that I song I'd never seen Now it's got a ring Ever since you rocked me I've been on a roll Now nothing can stop me Since we gave it a go The thing that really shocks me Is we owe it all To hockey <laughs> That's right. <laughs>
I'm a professional songwriter. <laughs> and we're hanging out with Trotsy. <laughs> We love the Cubs, but we hate the black hockey. Yeah! That was from my Chicago peeps. Sorry, where was I? I've been on a roll. Now nothing can stop me since we gave it a go. Now I'm a lucky man since you gave me your hand. May I have this first dance? Oh, I. La 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 la